would invest in roads, bridges, water pipes, airports, broadband, and the electrical grid, all paid for by a hike in the corporate tax rate. Now, the president released a fact sheet to grading infrastructure in all 50 states, and Wisconsin got a gray of, grade of C. Uh, Local 5's Aaron Taylor spoke with state politicians on both sides of the aisle about this proposal. We now know what President Joe Biden's American jobs plans would mean for Wisconsin. I think we're seeing substantial dollars focused on infrastructure, whether that looks like broadband, whether that looks like jobs in the economy. Um, all of it seems to be related to economic recovery and the Badger bounce back, so I'm really excited that these align. Across the aisle, State Senator Roger Roth is concerned that the $2.3 trillion bill goes too far. Uh, roughly 70% of that has nothing to do with infrastructure. And that's the problem here that I see with this bill. If it was limited to infrastructure, I think it could probably do uh, a lot of good and would have some positive effect here for the state of Wisconsin. Roth cites money going to expand child care as well as Medicaid home and community based care. Now, none of these things in and of themselves are bad policies in, and it's not as though Congress couldn't debate these things. But when you stick them inside an infrastructure bill, you're telling the American people one thing and you're doing another. But Representative Snodgrass says investments in child care and caregiving are investments in the economy. We've consistently underinvested and underpaid the people who do this hard work that we value so much. And it is time for us to realize that child care and long term caregiving is actually part of an economic plan. Senator Roth says the size of that plan will divide the nation. I think this bill is going to do more to continue to divide our country and drive us apart because when you have a spending bill that's $2.3 trillion, you're picking winners and losers and you're picking different sectors that, that you're going to reward with cash and those that you're going to, to punitively damage. Now, if the bill does pass, Representative Snodgrass says there are parts of the plan they're still waiting to learn. We still do not have federal guidance on how some of these dollars can be spent. So before we get too excited about passing legislation about how we're going to spend it, we do have some guidance, but there's still some gaps. And we're hoping that that comes very soon so that we can get into the planning stages on some of this work. In Green Bay, Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News. And other lawmakers have shared similar concerns about the scope of the bill going too far, saying it covers too much for an infrastructure bill. All right, the latest.